Hey everyone, I am about to continue on the hat and uh, have a new stencil I got from Drew Blair's School of Realism, his supplies. Um, it's the smooth uh, French curve. I have uh, also the one I used earlier, it's the organic edge and uh, been using that for different parts with the this around the eye and different areas you need to get into but this is a smoother edge it's larger I'll probably get the smaller version too I like you know slowly but surely build them all up but this has a lot of uh, little texture marks and it's raised on one side so as I lay this on here and I could just spray a little bit of the lighter blue and you can see the texture I'll zoom in a little bit okay here we go so we're going to go over here just do the same thing just building up texture but it's also overall lighter so the whole area, if I look at the reference picture, need a little more air pressure. It's an opaque mixture. I'm squinting my eyes looking for values. Okay, yeah, there's texture, but there's also, and the texture has to get knocked back in, into the picture. But there's also a um, a lighter value. The whole hat is a lighter value right here. So I'm just gonna put a little on at a time. I do have to protect the black area. It's no big deal to touch that up, but for the sake of argument, do that. Okay, that's covered under frisket, I do believe. And if it's not, no, it might not be. I will be going back in there to tighten everything up uh, with the black. Okay, so again, I'm squinting my eyes. I'm looking at the reference picture and I'm going to make it lighter overall. Tip dry. Right here is a really nice highlight. Let me see exactly where it is. It's a little lower. Got to find the right curve. There it is. I'm just going to spray it off that so it stays more. Yeah, it's like a highlight on the brim. Not the brim, but right where the hat attaches, whatever. <laughs> baseball cap touch that up I'm not using white I'm using a color a bluish color to create this hope I can stay out of the way of the camera here so I can give you guys the, you know the view Going back in around that later with the lighter, darker tones. So it's just kind of building shapes up. I know I was showing you this earlier with the video, the last video, but uh, now that I have my texture stencil, I do more and I'll work on the flesh tone. If not in this video, I will be doing it, ver you know, right, right after this one and I'll put it up quick because I feel like painting a lot today anyway um, all right so I'm gonna take that out I'm gonna raise it off the surface a little bit and just kind of wisp um, to make
make sure that I'm seeing what I like. I'm going to lighten this area just a little bit because I want to spray right out of the bottle a little bit of uh, probably cobalt blue. All right, I think I'm pretty light there. Um, go back over to this section. Get the texture side down, the raised side. Okay, now there is a little bit of a broken up edge here from texture. So let's just take this curve and just work it right in here. Kind of do a little pump stroke so it's not all even. That's good. And a little bit more visual noise out here, maybe. No, I can't, I gotta keep them small, so we'll just go back to that same size. There's different sizes on this stencil that work its way over to create the lovely texture. In there. I'm going to go to a couple bigger shapes here just for a couple spots. Just want to see what they look like. Yeah, they went, they're there. They're more the tinier ones though a couple big ones here and there freehand pump in the stroke trying to create a little fuzzy guy hanging down this edge is kind of got to be freehand but it's broken up because it's all the little material Some freehand ones farther away, get the softer touch. Right here, a little highlight. Let it dry. Right, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer to what I want. Um, let me get a little, a few more little guys over here little speckles and then I'm going to start to go into the straight out of the bottle color there we go that's good hope you can see that more here just move it around random chaos they're not real pronounced they're more pronounced in here but so I'm going to take a uh, Cobalt blue, right out of the bottle, transparent Createx. Um, I'm going to test the color on the side. I'm not mixing the color, I'm testing uh, whether I want to use blue violet or the cobalt to show the more saturated color on the hat. And now that I put the highlights there, those colors will, will show up more. Because there's a little light area there. Okay, testing on the side. Get that other color out, the lighter color. Yep, blue violet. I think I'll go with that. So if you look, you can see it's got a little, a little more saturation of color in here. Got to go real light. I don't want to overdo it. 
Let me do a few dots, maybe, of the opposite going on. I gotta be careful, because when you're spraying transparents, you know, they can get dark. And I can always knock them back a little bit. Spray far away, pump stroke. And right here on the tape, I'm gonna spray a little bit on the tape, a little bit on the hat. Then I'm gonna put a few marks, maybe a couple bigger ones right in here. Just a little. There we go. They're kind of mixed in. They're not they're not everywhere. They're just here and there. Gotta be careful. Um, okay, I'm like, I'm gonna try this over what I already have, the darker area. Okay, so I'll go to about there. That'll set off the highlight too. Tip dry. Okay, so find your shape, line it, and spray mostly on the tape and a little bit onto the, mostly on the stencil, creating that separation that line then the hat goes upwards so you just look for that shape and going this way got to kind of line it up so you don't have it too drastic that's good I think, I, I think that's good let's try a little yeah a little bit lower if I make a mistake I can always go back over it with a little bit of a Lighter blue. Yeah, it's kind of downhill here. I feel a little free here. I don't want to get too bright here because it really looks like the color has um, probably some orange in it and grayer. It's not as bright as over here. This has to have more color over it. It'll just make the, the thing go closer to the photograph. Even on the color that's already there. There's texture going in further too, I see. You kind of see more and more as you go. So you just kind of, over here, I'm sorry. I'm not doing much over here anyway. I'm just misting over that blue, the lighter blue, with the stronger color, which is what I'm trying to put in. And I'll do a little bit more right in here. Whisper, just a whisper. You can always add, you know, and I see it going into here, right? so I'm going to go along the brim, the edge, tip dry. Pump stroke works good because it's controlling, you can control things. Now I better be careful here, so I'm going to kind of protect that area and whisper in some more saturated color. There we go. That goes right onto the to that area, and then maybe a little more out here, just a little. That's pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to take that same color, and I'm going to dirty it, dirty it, dirty it up <laughs> with orange, blue, violet. So I'll put some uh, reducer in it. Okay, so I've got that. Now I need I need to deepen it. And a nice way to deepen it would be to add some. I guess I'm going to add a little burnt umber. Sepia might be too dark. Uh, okay, where's my burn umber? There it is. Okay. I'll test it on the side. and All I'm trying to do is get a dark, the darker blue to spray into. But I, I don't want to make it too dark. And I might have it that way by... Just doing this quick on the video, so I have to test it. 
on the side. I still want to see the blue, but I want to see a grayer, darker blue. So far, I'm not seeing it. I'm testing it. That might be it. Okay, so I'm just going to spray back over that same spot right there. I have to be careful of um, the little holes in the in the paper. I think I think I got the color I want. It's pretty dark. Um, so let's get a little a little freehand going on. No, we'll go to the smaller stencil. I mean uh, shield freehand shield. It's kind of straight here, so I have to find an area that is straighter. It's even straighter than that, so I'm going to go to a probably a different shield. i got to watch my time on here. Okay. Alright, so I've got this shield here. Just a straight edge here. I'm going to get inside here. And I'm going to darken that area. Yeah, it seems to be the color I want. I'm going to turn the air down now. i got to be careful here. Hope you guys can see it. No reducer in there, so it's going to make it a little harder to work with. All right. Can't spray that color because I have to put reducer in it. So, you know, if you're pulling back on the trigger, and nothing's coming out. Uh, <laughs> you better back off and don't spray. All right, where's my reducer? Here it is. Thought I had enough in there, but okay. One more drop. I think I will put. Uh, Drop a sepia in there. Sepia. Just one drop. Because I'm seeing too much saturation, too much blue. I'm trying to take the blue out. Orange takes it out too. Maybe one more drop of orange. Here we go. Test it again. Yeah, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Happiness. It's just not as blue. Yeah, got to be careful because I don't want to go. It is pretty black there, as you can see. It's pretty black, but I don't want it to be too black. So, again, it's back and forth. I was. Uh, Let's just second coat this very far away. Getting that right color. There it is. Okay, now a little bit more. We'll do a little bit. I'm bad with these shields, meaning I, I got to keep them where they need to be or I'm in trouble. Do a little pump stroke here. And you got that. Now, I'll just be doing the same thing, going back and forth a little bit, creating shapes. Uh, I love these little shields. They're perfect size for the hand, for my hand. I, I just like that they are so, just, they're just there, ready to be used. Okay, so I'm gonna spray down there a little bit more. I'll have to come back with some white around it, the lighter blue. Okay, that's creating, that's getting a little dark there, but it is creating the, without, you know, I can mist over it a little bit with some white, but knock it back. There's a stronger highlight on that side. Um, what else we got here? We've got this. Careful. All right, so 
tip dry. One more pass here. No reason to not use the shield. What am I thinking? You don't have to do it freehand and you're not sure, then use the, use the shield. You can cut something out of paper. You know, as long as you cut the, the shield that you make into the right, um, you know, shape that you want. All right, so you're starting to see the different shapes that I'm developing. A little bit more shading, and then I'm gonna call the video. A little more down in here. There we go. And I come back in here with some highlights and then develop it more. Uh, maybe a little more toning down of this. A little more color on top of there and I will be doing some more uh, of the same thing so let's zoom in on it make sure we're good you can see kind of where I'm going all right I have some touching up to do and tweaking it but that gets you at least the feel for it all right guys I will be putting up the next video on the flesh tone to get the darker areas of Jacob's face and I did I did purchase one other um, lovely stencil from him where I can literally um, find the pupil spray it and then find the shape and protect it and doing the white area so great video I mean great video praising myself here great stencils I'll see you on the next video take care be well bye